LTA, what's going on? How y'all feeling today? Well, the subject I want to talk about today is sexual assault. So it's this cat named um, Bowen Turner down in South Carolina. That's a multiple, um, a multiple, what they call him, a serial rapist. But he ain't getting no jail time. I guess they say his dad is a DA, something of that nature. So, you know, I'm going to show you the story. And the reason, why, the reason, not the only reason, the reason that I'm bringing this up is because to me, I think that that's one of the worst things you could do is violate somebody in that kind of way. You know what I mean? Like taking something from them, rape or whatever, you know, that's crazy to me. You know, I don't think that that should ever be acceptable. You know what I mean? Like that's one of those things that's like just this it's no it's no excuse for for stuff like that. You know what I mean? Like that's just imagine. You don't like nobody just stealing from you, period. Like items. Money. You know what I mean? Like you feel violated when somebody takes something from you like that, like some money or or something. So just imagine somebody um you know, somebody's person. You feel me? Like that's just crazy, and um, and, and, and you know, it, and it just goes to show also like the unjustice part within the system, the the, the um, nepotism, which should never be no excuse. That should definitely not be an excuse, but you know, the injustice is it's always there, no matter if it's something like this where where the dude dad is the DA, or maybe it was just a good lawyer that had that had favors owed to him by the system, by the, you know, by the courts. You know what I'm saying? Either way it go, it's no, if you're, if you're up there to, to serve justice, you gotta serve justice, right? You can't, you know, you, you, so when you see the story, you, you gonna see how, you know how fucked up the story is though, it's crazy, man. And like I said, I, when I, I take, I take offense to uh, predators, like motherfuckers that go taking shit. You know what I mean? Um, I even always say like, mess with somebody under age is 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 bad. You know what I mean? Like if you if you 25, you shouldn't be messing with nobody 14, so to speak. You know what I mean? But um, but if it's consensual, I don't even consider that as bad as somebody getting actually raped. You know what I mean? Like that's wrong too. That's wrong too. But I even put. I even put that above somebody actually getting raped. Like getting raped is the, that's like the ultimate foul. You know what I mean? Like that's just, that ain't cool at all, man. So we're going to check out the story and, you know, leave some comments. Tell me how y'all feel about it. You know, have you unfortunately been, been a victim? You know what I mean? Like, or know somebody that has been or, you know, it's just somebody that, that, um, that, that, that it may be continuous getting, getting it done to them and, Maybe you want to help them out or something of that nature, you know, whatever. If this can help somebody in any kind of way, you know, that's the point of it. Tonight in South Carolina, this man charged with two sexual assaults pleads guilty to lesser crimes and goes home without serving time in prison. The alleged victim's family is outraged. He completely violated me. And so for him to be charged with something that doesn't even fit the crime, that just makes no sense to me. It looks like you received an award for bad behavior. Prosecutors in Bramberg County, South Carolina, say Bowen Turner, 16 years old at the time, sexually assaulted his classmate, Dallas Staller, in April of 2018 while at a high school party. Her father says he recalls when she came home. She's also very, very, very upset. Dallas, where did this come from? What's going on with this? Turner was arrested and charged with first-degree criminal sexual conduct. He had a house arrest GPS monitor. Uh, his attorneys uh, requested for that GPS monitor to be removed uh, in April of 2019. Uh, the court uh, agreed. In 2019, while he was out on bond, another alleged assault of then 16-year-old Chloe Bess at a party in Orangeburg County. He was arrested again. How did, how did they let this happen? They were in charge and supposed to be watching over him. Turner was charged with first-degree criminal sexual assault. He then forced her to the ground 
And, Your Honor, a sexual assault took place at that time. Your Honor, this case is very similar to the original incident. She did not resist. She did not scratch. She did not punch. She did not call out. When asked point blank, did she say no? She did. Well, guess what? You know, you just had sex on the ground with a boy you don't do the move. And you get up and you feel ashamed. On Friday, Bowen Turner pleaded guilty to lesser charges of assault and battery in the case involving Chloe Bess and received a sentence of five years of probation under the Youthful Offender Act. When I first found out that that was even an option to be offered to him, I immediately was like, absolutely not. He is completely five years without any violation. He said that all of the, all of the counseling necessary, then you will not have to register as a sex There's no words what? to describe how I was feeling. It was almost surreal. We also learned at that same time that they, the Second Circuit Solicitor's Office would also be dismissing the case involving Dallas Stoller. Dallas Stoller passed away in November of 2021. The day before my 52nd birthday, I lost my baby girl. And that's just, it's just tough, tough. She tried to keep going in spite of what happened to her three and a half years ago. Adding to the outrage, the family's attorney filed court documents pointing to GPS monitoring data, alleging Turner violated the rules of his house arrest dozens of times, visiting golf courses, restaurants, and stores while he was supposed to be at home. Ford says the judge did not allow them to argue the motion to revoke bond. It suggests to me someone who slipped through the cracks, but it also suggests to me that there was a lack of accountability. We reached out to both and his attorney and the prosecutors trying the case and have not heard back. After Friday, um, I feel like a chapter is closed, but I'm not done with the book yet. I wake up every day and think about it. All right, Issa joins us now in studio. So Issa, you know, we heard the judge there talk about uh, this young man not being put on the sex offender registry, but we're also talking about a case of sexual assault. That's right, Tom. The key thing to remember here is that Bowen Turner did not plead guilty to sexual assault charges, even though he was charged for those as an adult, by the way, even though he was a minor at the time of the incidents. And what Barbara McQuaid, uh, our legal analyst, said is that that is very, very common in sexual assault cases for the defendant to be offered a plea deal to lesser charges. Now, usually, she said, the victim's input should be considered in this decision-making process, and that is what the these families, both the Stallers and the Besses, do not feel happened here, and they're really upset about that. Tom, we did reach out to the judge who sentenced Bowen Turner on Friday. He said that he could not uh, give us any information about the case because of ethical reasons. So you mean to tell me this dude got two sexual assault cases, one person dies, and this he gets no jail time, he's, he's, he's he ran out on his house arrest joint, so you know he's still able to get bailed. The whole like, come on, man. People in jail for selling fucking weed, for selling weed and drugs, or and you got people out here raping people. And somebody happened to die because of something you did to. Like, come on, man. That's that's just. I mean, it ain't much you can say about that's just that's just. That's crazy. They like said, you don't even know what to say about that. That's just, that's un, that's unfathomable. I don't even know. I, like, what are we talking about here? What are we talking about? So, yeah, man, I don't, like I said, I take offense to, to, to people like that. So, I just wanted to tell that story. And if it can help somebody out there in any kind of way, that's the whole plan. You know what I mean? So, that's just crazy, man. Wow. Hey, this LTA, this LTA, we out of here, man. Holla at me.